Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, introduce myself. My name is Valerian Tunisia Pelupesi. Uh, the student ID number 1220401716 from class 4E. Today, I will explain about principle and how to deal with different types of young learners. Table of contents first, I will explain about principle of PYL. Uh, is several principles can guide approach and maximize learning experience. And the second session, I will explain about how to deal with different types of young learners, some strategies for dealing with different, different types of young learners. First, uh, principle of PYL. There are four principles of TYL. The first is implicit learning. Implicit learning is a equation of knowledge about the underlying structure of a complex stimulus environment by a process which takes place naturally, simply, and without conscious operation. Uh, for example, learning while playing with limbs is like inviting students to play Simon says the teacher tells the student to the point to the knee then they will show their knee. The second uh, contextual learning says that learning occurs only when students process new, inf new information or knowledge in such a way that it makes sense in their frame of reference. For example, Conducting and designing exper experiments with the scientific method and inquiry helps science students think critically about the assumptions of knowledge that are per pervasive in society. The third is a learn-centered learn -centered approach views a learner as active against they bring their own knowledge, past experience, education, and ideas, and this impact how they take on board new information and learn. For example, ask, ask students to present in groups, give them a material to study, uh, to study and they will find the material and present it. The four, the last, meaningful learning. Meaningful learning refers to a process in which students link new information to relevant concepts that they already possess. To learn meaningfully, individuals must consciously choose to relate new information to knowledge that they already know, rather, rather than simply memorizing isolated facts or concept definition. For example, project-based learning in project-based learning, students are given something to construct. Construct. It might be applying math problems to the construction of an object, applying new literacy concepts in the creation of a play, or using a particular music concept in the construction of a musical piece. Some key principles to consider is the first, create learning environment. Foster a warm and welcoming atmosphere where young learners feel comfortable and encouraged to participate. Use praise and positive reinforcement to build their confidence. The second, make it fun and engaging. Incorporate, incorporate games, songs, stories, and interactive activities to make the learning process enjoyable. Use props, visuals, and gestures to change understanding and engagement. The third is use age-appropriate materials and activities. Select Select materials and activities that are suitable for the age and developmental level of the learners. 
choose colorful and visually appealing resources that capture their attention and cater to their interests. Four, provide a variety of learning experience. Use a mix of speaking, listening, reading, and writing activities to cater to different learning styles, offer opportunities for group work, fire work, and individual tasks to promote interaction and active participation. The last, focus on meaningful communication. Encourage young learners uh, to use English to use English for real or real life purposes and meaningful communication. Provide opportunities for them to express their thoughts, opinions, and experiences in English. The second session, I will explain how to deal with different types of young learners. Strategies, strategies dealing with different young learners. The first is active learners. Some young learners are energetic and thrive on move, movement and hands-on activities. Provide opportunities for them to engage in active learning through games, role plays, and physical exercise. Incorporate kinesthetic elements like gestures, actions, and dance into lesson, lessons to help them stay engaged. The second, visual learners. Visual learners understand and retain information better through visual aids, image, and diagrams. Use colorful and visually appealing materials, flashcards, charts, and videos to support their learning. Encourage them to draw, create main, create mind maps, and use visual organizer to re reinforce their understanding. The third is auditory learners. Auditory learners learn best through listening and speaking. Include listening activities, song, chants, and rhymes in your lessons. Provide opportunities for them to participate in conversation, fair work, and group discussion. Use verbal explanation and repeti repetition to reinforce key concepts. The fourth is quiet learners. Some young learners are naturally in for introvert or shy, create a safe and supportive environment where they feel comfortable expressing themselves, offer them alternative ways to participate, such as through writing responses, drawings, or small group activities, provide individual intention and encouragement to help build their confidence, and the last, challenging learners, some young learners may display challenging behaviors, such as being dis disruptive, in inattentive, or resistant to participation. Establish clear and consistent classroom rules and expectation. Use positive behavior management strategies, such as rewards, praise, and structure routines. Address challenging, address challenging behaviors privately focusing on solution rather than punishment. Maybe that's all from me. Sorry for my mistake. Assalamualaikum. Uh, thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.